I'm Robert Brewer. I'm the United States Attorney for the Southern District of California, and it's a privilege to be here in Imperial County this morning. I am joined by John Callery, the Special Agent in Charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration for San Diego and Imperial Counties, Chief Brian Johnson, El, El Centro Police Chief, Imperial County Sheriff Raymond Loera, and Assistant United States Attorney Larry Casper, who is the Chief Prosecutor on the case we'll be talking about today. We're here today, ladies and gentlemen, for two reasons. One, to issue the strongest warning possible about fentanyl and the fentanyl threat and the tragic consequences of using or selling this deadly synthetic opioid. And secondly, to announce the unsealing of a complaint that happened on Wednesday of this week, charging 20-year-old Anthony Lorenzo Garcia with providing fentanyl, which caused a death. This community has suffered the tragic loss of a 15-year-old boy, the youngest person to die as a result of a fentanyl overdose in Imperial County. He was a junior at Central Union High School. On October 8, 2019, two days before his 16th birthday, his grandfather discovered his grandson died in bed of a fentanyl overdose. We in law enforcement cannot and will not stand by as teenagers die. According to the unsealed complaint, Garcia was dealing counterfeit blue M30 oxycodone pills laced with fentanyl, known on the street as blues. He was also selling other illegal narcotics. Our complaint alleges that Garcia continued to distribute the counterfeit pills even though he knew about the overdose death. We in law enforcement want teens and parents to be aware of these M30 pills known as blues. There is no margin of error when kids make a mistake with fentanyl because they don't understand the deadly consequences. Parents must get educated and teach your children the deadly consequences of them taking pills that have not been prescribed for them. Those pills may very well be laced with fentanyl and they will kill them in a matter of seconds because fentanyl is 30 to 50 times more powerful than heroin and so dangerous that in its purest form, even a tiny amount touching the skin can cause death. The price of fentanyl, whether in pills or in powder, is declining, meaning that both forms are more readily available in this community. So far in Imperial County, we have not seen the high number of fentanyl overdose deaths that we've seen in other areas, but these numbers are on the rise. We do not want this region to mirror the San Diego trend. Just five years ago, San Diego County had 21 fentanyl-related overdose deaths. In 2019, there were 150. That's more than a 600% increase in five years. And San Diego is already on pace in 2020 to exceed that total in 2019. The dramatic surge in trafficking activity and the deaths of, of young people is particularly alarming. The Southern District of California's border with Mexico, which includes San Diego and Imperial counties, is the gateway for the movement of fentanyl to the rest of the country. Fentanyl is crossing the border in this district in record quantities. Let me give you examples. 
Just five years ago, there were six fentanyl seizures by law enforcement, totaling 68 pounds. In 2019, there were 214 seizures of fentanyl, totaling 1,792 pounds. That's an increase in five years of 2,500%. We in law enforcement are working hard to stop the flow of fentanyl with interdiction, prosecution, and education. Every time we have a fatal overdose, we are going after the dealer, and we are using every available tool to combat this deadly epidemic and stop these tragic deaths. Under federal law, sellers and suppliers of drugs that cause death or serious bodily injury face a 20-year mandatory minimum sentence. So far, my office has charged 18 alleged dealers with the 20-year mandatory minimum offense. 